Right then, I'm up on the Iron Age Hill Fort. Lots of gorse, brilliant views all around. Yeah, brilliant views. And now, just coming up to the hut again and the mound. It's only a small mound. It might have been much bigger, don't forget, in the past though. It's a lovely afternoon. I haven't looked at the watch for a while. I'm going to look at it when I get further up here. Imagine this in the summer when this grass is all tall. Do you know what I mean? It's very humpy bumpy here as well. Very humpy bumpy. The cows roam here. I don't know if they actually roam on the mound though, I'm not sure. I'm coming in from a different direction to the mound. To last week. Today's the 25th of February. 2022. It's more like two weeks ago I was here and then two weeks before that further over. Not, I didn't get that she get here. I saw it but I didn't actually get here. So this is the Bronze Age mound. I mean some would say god it's just a load of dirt. But it would have been much grander than this. You're talking about 3,000 years ago. It stood the test of time hasn't it? overlooking all this. They knew where they wanted to bury their dead. This could have been a a king or a queen up here or his family or more people were given this spot right up where you can see all around Somerset. This part of Somerset, the Vale of Avalon, Mendips. Yep. Climbing up it again. Once again, a beautiful day. Still can't see Glastonbury though. Wells will be over there somewhere. Wells, Wookie Hole. Yeah, I've had a good day. It's been a good walk. I did feel a bit disappointed that I hadn't gone back to the original plan over there but I actually explored somewhere different so and saw some deer so basically it swings and roundabouts that can always be left again where the quarry is I hadn't been there there either that's something that can be done another time it leaves this place open to exploration of all sorts so earlier I was a couple of fields over, walking the West Mendip Way, and uh, now I'm going to be walking back towards Draycott after passing through Stoke Camp, and then back to Cheddar Gorge. So here's the hut again. Now recorded by me in time, three times. Several years ago. I don't know what sort of camera I had then. And, um... Two weeks ago. It's just beautiful, my Somerset. I love it. Absolutely love my Somerset, it's Brent Norther. And we've got another good day tomorrow. Tomorrow will be a shorter walk, so I need to get my washing done while the, because the weather can, keeps changing. Sunday's supposed to be another good day. So it'll either be washing tomorrow or on Sunday, I'll have to say, but I expect I will probably do my washing tomorrow and have a smaller walk because this is quite a big walk in the end of the day not massive I'm not talking about walking 22 miles I don't know how far it is actually could be by the time I've walked back 
So the Westbury Beacon Reserve, with all its artefacts lying about. Nobody's thought to sort of rescue that. What were these pillars? And the man who used to love this place has got his own seat. And all the butterflies that will one day see. That's what I was saying why I would come back again in the summer. Is to see the, the butterflies and stuff. If it's possible. Let's just have a little sip. On this lovely little seat. This man had the seat put here, or somebody put it here for him. Imagine when it's not misty, the views. Fantastic views. The Vale of Avalon, the levels, Somerset levels for everyone. Thinking of those people in the Ukraine, because the Ukraine is said in that, where there's lots of trouble, there's so much trouble going on around the world. So much killing, so much hate. I can't believe Russia at all. At the moment, why haven't they learned anything? Why are they doing this? They are a big power. President Putin was doing all right. Why is he ruining his reputation now? We're turning into a dictator and somebody a bit like Hitler, really. Why is he doing that? It's not the way to leave you, Mark. Looks like they've been doing a little bit of digging up since I was here last. Is there any treasure? Any pennies? You'd be surprised what you find sometimes. A lot of stuff also isn't um, far under the ground. Either. I'm going to turn off a minute. I mean, basically, maybe they're going to use this base again. If there's a threat of a third world war, maybe they're going to have to expand up here again to detect low-flying missiles. That's what they'd use on us, you know, now. Because we're an island, they can't just surround us like they've done with the Ukraine. They would have to bomb us. It would be absolutely horrific, actually. It would be horrific. Yeah. Oh, they're going all the way around, look. Yeah. It's a worry, really. I, I come out to enjoy all this peace. Beauty. Peace, reflection, knowing there's people being killed at this very minute over there who just wanted to live ordinary peaceful lives like we do. The me all men from 18 to 60 aren't allowed to leave the country. They're just as bad the people that govern the Ukra Ukrainians. And then you've got all that going on. I've just seen that <coughs> man come through. <coughs> I expect he's going to do what I've done in a sort of way. He's parked down on the road there. He'll probably end up doing the West Mendip Way. Coming back up. Because that's what I've done really. But I've done a bit more cross-country. I've done more um, freelance. You know what I mean? That's some, sometimes that's how I discover things, actually, if I just go off track completely. 
you know, he's just gone down there. So there's the trig point, 270 metres above sea level. No cows yet, folks. No cows yet. That man who passed, he, he didn't smile or anything. He, he wasn't going to speak. He was probably about 70 to 80, I would have thought. Very smartly dressed hiker, by the way. Smart wellies, smart coat, everything. We had a rucksack and he looked, and he had a stick. Um, I don't know if he had a dog or not. I can see him up there, but I don't know if that's a dog with him. I don't think he had a dog. Yeah. All sorts, isn't it? it? Takes all sorts. That lovely scene again. Alright, bye hut. I hope to come back when the butterflies are out.